Steve, you spoke with AIG's newest CEO, Ed Liddy, who took this job for just a dollar a year. Why? What's in it for him? Well, he said he took the job really for public service, that he got a call from then Treasury Secretary Hank Paulson uh, asking him to come help the country, that his country needed him. And he decided to do it for a dollar a year, I think, because uh, Mr. Liddy has plenty of money. He's a former uh, successful CEO at Allstate Insurance. And I think that he didn't want uh, any questions about his behavior. He thought if he was doing it for one dollar a year that no one would be able to accuse him of conflicts of interest or having any personal motivation in doing it. Do you think he really realized what he signed up for? I, I don't think he understood a number of things. I don't think he understood how serious the financial situation was at AIG. And, and a, a few months after he arrived, they reported the largest quarterly loss in U.S. history, I think about $65 billion. And I don't think that he thought that he would have uh, so many people from Washington, including uh, the U.S. Congress, looking over his shoulder as he tried to do the job. What does he believe the chances are that AIG will actually be able to repay this $180 billion? Well, um, Mr. Liddy says that's his main goal, and he thinks with uh, if things break right, it's entirely possible. A lot of it's going to depend on uh, the new, uh, what happens with the economy right now. If it continues to grow worse or stays in a depressed state for a long time, then it's going to be more difficult. But he believes that uh, by selling off a lot of the uh, very valuable assets like their insurance companies, they're going to be able to raise a lot of money. Since the federal government has a 79% stake in the company, or essentially ta the taxpayers, what type of oversight is the government taking in AIG? They don't have anybody uh, in the executive uh, offices at AIG on a permanent basis, but Mr. Liddy told us that on any given day there may be 20 or 30 people either on the floor uh, or people from um, AIG at federal office buildings, but they attend the shareholders meetings, board meetings, um, and uh, are involved in any big decisions that AIG makes.